Welcome to the sauce, everybody. This is your host, C. Kenny, and today I'm with my boy, Dr. Seth. That's the said. You can follow him on Twitter also. Follow me at T. Kenny. Anyway, um, you know, I'm just, I, I cooked a little dinner tonight, invited some friends over, having some drinks, and a topic that's been a discussion since I was in Haiti. You know, I missed, I missed the whole thing when it went down, but um, it came up, and the um, topic is about women who don't know who their baby fathers are. Um, I, I've never experienced it, but um, my boy said here can speak about it better than I can. So, Cedric, how do you feel about these chicks out here? Um, pretty men, not knowing who their baby fathers are. Maybe I took one to put it. Anyhow, I am. Uh, I'm feeling good now. You feel good now? I feel good now. Because I am free. You are free. I am free. Okay. So, I mean, do you want to speak to the people and tell the people, like, what happened? You don't have to go into details or anything, but... Hey, I'm going from Buzin. Mm-hmm. I'm from Buzin. That's it. Yeah, please, yeah, please, yeah, please, yeah, please, yeah, you come now, one night stand. You come now, one night stand. Hey, me, so, you be imbecile. You be imbecile now. You had a one night stand and you, and, and you thought the child was free. Ah, when well, Baraka, Baraka. You think I come with him? Come with the Kabu. You know she was going before you? The times fell into place. The times fell into place. Yes, oh. So then what happened though? The times apparently they didn't fall into place correctly. No, you're bien tombé, mais. Qu'on en agree moi pas faire petit là. So. That's it. Okay. Well, um, I don't know how you guys feel about it, but um, it's like an epidemic going around now. They just they're free. They're having sex with whoever, whatever case may be. Especially when you live in a small community, uh, and everybody talks and everybody, about you. You know, I'm from a small place called Spring Valley, in New York. I don't longer live in Spring Valley, but I live on the outskirts of it. If you're in Spring Valley, nine times out of ten, you're Haitian, and if you're Haitian, you live in Spring Valley. Everybody knows each other. Either your parents work together, you went to school with each other, or you pre-met somebody who pre-met somebody who pre-met somebody who pre-met somebody. <laughs> so, um, if you do some dumb shit like that, like you gotta get up and move out. But yeah. Yeah. what what happened to your friend? Is she still around? Uh, back on the internet after Foley suit to the liberal Florida after she said that. When back on the but all I know is unemployment don't take you that far. Hmm. You know, that's all I can say. Hmm. Hmm. So why was you with a chick that's on uh, uh, unemployment? You was with a chick, she was on unemployment. You met her on a one night stand. You thought it was yours, and you cuffed her. So, isn't there something wrong with you two? No, no, she was working at first. She was working at first. Um, they get comfortable, you know. They get comfortable. All I know is, is that. Hold on. Y'all don't have anything to say about this subject? Whitney Ash. <laughs> Ash Kitem Vives. Kitem Vives. Follow, follow him on Twitter. Kitem Vives is in the house. Princess Nini. Is in the house. La Princess Nini Apkale still la. She don't want to get on because she said she doesn't want to get into it. You know, she's trying to stay anonymous. That's bullshit. Bullshit net. You know you have an opinion, so at come Princess say your opinion. Nini. At two Princess e's, Nini. Two e's. Yes, she is at the house tonight. She's at the crib. So if you were texting her and asking if she was with Cedric, yes. <laughs> she is with Cedric. She's with Cedric. She's with Kitim Beer. She's with T. Kenny in the crib. Princess Nini Apkale? No, why? Why? Will you go? Why not? <laughs> <laughs> She's scared of the camera. She's I'm camera not scared shy. Of the camera. It's just, you know, you're like, I'm not supposed to talk about it. Why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? But she told me to talk to you about it. That's what she yeah, told me. What? What I, I saw, I saw the Facebook message. She wrote me on Facebook and said to speak to you because you know better, because you were with her and throughout the Apparently situation. There's, there's two sides to, to the story. And you know the second side. Oh my God! Really, guys? Yeah, really. I mean, the first side. I thought I thought there was that in this situation. I only see one side. No, it's either there's the truth or there's a lie. I mean, what happened if she really didn't know? I didn't say she knew. That's my phone. Yeah, me. My brother. It's us. I'm too hot right now. 
Like, what do you mean? What if she really didn't know? Like, I didn't say she knew. Things like that can happen. Man. Maybe the situation was handled the wrong way. Why can't you tell me that you're not going to get me to die? I can't let you die. So hold on, does she know who her baby dad is now? Oh, we know who it is. Who is it? No, no, we don't. Oh, you can't that. drop names, but do you know the person? I like him. I have respect for the guy. Oh, okay. I would not do that to him. Good job. Oh, I don't have a soul. He never did shit wrong to me. I respect that. I don't know who the person is. I don't understand that. But can we take me off the sauce? Well, I mean. Oh, no, we're not sauce now. You're not going to be on the sauce. I put you on the sauce tonight. Now you don't want to be on the sauce. You're off camera shot. Hey, hey, hey. hey. This is so much happening. Hey, hey. Mr. Keith and B. I mean, Keith and B. You don't want to be on the sauce? Yeah, Ash. If they're going to put me on the spot like that, you got to join in. Well, like, if Keith and Beef doesn't I'm want to come to the source, the source can come to him. The source will go to Keith and Beef. Oh, sure. Oh, I'm in, I'm in my corner. I'm just my mango. Bobby. Why am I on the source? Keith and Beef, how do you feel about Fum Cup by the um, Gaston Cup? Listen, I'm just asking you a generalized question. How do you feel? How, wait, from? how come he gets a generalized question? I don't no, no, here's the thing. I just believe that Honesty should be the first thing that's given, no matter what. If you don't know, don't go out there and say anything. I don't know what happened. I don't know what's the truth, because there's always his side, her side, and there's the truth. Exactly. So, I'm so what would you have done if you got caught in the cookie tea? <laughs> I'm going to be honest with y'all. I'm not a very nice person. Where am I that much? I'm not going to see you. 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 That's what I would have done with you. You were lucky that you're still walking on this earth. I just came from 82. Good food. You've been done. That's it. I'm just keeping it real. All right, I don't like how she can't put me on the spot right now. But it is what it is. Shit happened. We need to move on. Exactly. That's about it. Like everybody needs to move on and live their life and stop focusing on it. You don't have to turn it around on me. Oh man. <laughs>